Alright, I'm David Segura and this is going to be a compilation video of my life in a semester. There'll be some laughs, there'll be some cool things you might see about me, and just regular things that I do in my daily life, and I uh, hope you like it. Hey guys, so uh, I'm just going to go over uh, something that I like to do. I like to draw. I like to uh, just draw whatever's in my head. Uh, I like to draw um, different things like plants, animals, stuff like that, uh, characters. I call myself more of a cartoonist than an artist just because I don't really kind of expand into different areas. I just sort of stick to cartoons. Um, so I'm just going to show you just most of my drawings, uh, just kind of teach you something a little bit about it too. Alright, so. This is one of my drawings I've done in January uh, this year. Um, so when it comes to my drawings, I sort of draw in the moment. I really don't have like a clear idea of what I'm drawing. I just sort of kind of go with it. And I sort of just kind of pull out an image out of my head and, and it just comes out of whatever it is, of however how I feel, really. So, um, looking closer to the face, you can s I want to create more emotion in my characters. I don't really want to kind of have like a cool, generic figure. I want to have something related to uh, how someone feels. And so this guy sort of feels melancholic, at least looking away rather than looking towards uh, the person. And that was kind of like the way I wanted it to be. Alright, so these are the last drawings I'm going to show you guys. I wanted to draw like a family. I wanted these guys to sort of really love each other, but just hate each other at the same time. So I made each one very, I wanted to make each one very different from the other one. And I wanted to have them just have different faces, different emotions, and uh, kind of just like different stances. Like she, this character, I, I like, I love doing her. She was like probably the most fun. She was like really overjoyed, excited and maybe a little psychopath. This character was really easy, but just because he's a very chill guy, you can sort of see like in his face, but he's also very, uh, very introverted. You kind of see like he doesn't want to be where he's at right now, and uh, he just wants to be somewhere else. So I kind of want to put that in like his face. This guy, I sort of want to make a bored face. I wanted him to, he's the oldest, I wanted him to sort of be the most experienced, know what he's doing, and uh, sort of just goes with the flow. He knows what he's talking about, so I kind of drew him with like the sunglasses, uh, the relaxed Hawaiian t-shirt, and the long jeans with a cigarette and, like, and his hand in his pocket. This character, I had a lot of fun doing too. This character is just basically a cat in a robot suit. Like I said, I like to draw very unique things, very random stuff, and almost just weird at times. And it's okay to laugh, it's okay to call me weird, because I, I like I like drawing this type of stuff. I want like kids to see this and just laugh at me. Just be like, why is that a thing? Hey guys, this is Dave Segura. Um, today I just want to talk to you guys about an expression that I've been told a lot. And that is putting the weight on your shoulders. Um, I'm a victim of this sometimes. When someone has the weight on, your sh on their shoulders. What this means, what the expression means is that uh, you're living with a lot of control. Not only over your life, but also the life of others. And also just um, thinking Constantly, you're 100% in your head. You're always thinking about the past or the future. You want everything managed, everything done, and the, and the little time that you get to yourself, you feel overly stressed, and you feel you always need to do something, anything. This is a very unhealthy thing for someone to do. The trees will still grow, the wind will still blow, and the flowers will still blow. It's just the way the world works. You can't, there are just some things out of your control. Carrying your own burden is hard enough, but always carrying someone 
someone else's burden on your back for a thousand miles will only make your life a mess. So, the best way to cure this is just knowing what needs to be done. Knowing what needs to be done that day and only that day. I'm sure you can think of what else will come soon. Other plans, but that'll just come. That'll just come. Hey guys, this is Dave Segura. Uh, today I'm going to be tell talking to you guys about uh, self, the concept of self awareness. And what self awareness is, is that seeing your place in the world and uh, where you stand, almost literally. You open your mind up to uh, seeing, your, feeling your presence with the world around you. You, you open yourself up and uh, not only to the world, but to uh, the people around you. And, uh, and you feel more open to, to your own feelings. You feel uh, more yourself. When you're, when you're more self-aware. You sort of take in the time and the peace that, you, that you're bringing yourself. And uh, you say that life is so bad. People who work on being more self-aware of themselves can help with uh, victims of depression, of uh, I, people who close themselves up a lot. I believe that helps them a lot because those people usually feel more distant from the world. They feel uh, that they're not good enough for other people or for or for what they're trying to do. And uh, being self-aware will help that because you feel you have more confidence in yourself and you and you know for a fact of what you stand for and that you are present in the world. Uh, there is a quote that. I've heard before and I feel like that really helps with uh, what I'm talking about. It says that we should never simply write ourselves off and see ourselves as a victim of various outside forces. It's always our decision of who we are. Hey guys, this is Dave Segura. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about school and education. So I did a semester last year, a class of intro to education, and that basically taught me about schools in general and how, to, and like a one-on-one -on -one on how to be a teacher. Uh, and by the end of the semester, we're asked the question of what what can we do to make uh, our school systems better? Or, and I believe a way that we could change schools is to make them more free and make them more of an open-ended resource to students of various skills. Uh, schools are very set in stone. They have the set curriculum for each subject that they teach. They have a timeline for what needs to be taught uh, each month or each day of what's to come, what will come, this has to be done, uh, this can be passed on. It's up to the teacher. And I feel like that affects the, the mind of the teacher because they're in it for the money. Even though teachers don't get paid a lot, they're in it for the money. And teachers will teach students the way they, the way they teach, and it doesn't matter to them if they learn anything or not. I want the teachers and students to build a better bond and having the same end goal. And by doing that is opening schools to having an abundance of classes. Because students nowadays are very, are very neat. They have more skills than we think they do. And uh, it's the teacher's job to, uplift, to emphasize those skills and let them utilize them so they can better themselves and uh, help the students find a better place in themselves in the world. That'll help them along in the future. And I feel like when teachers and students have that same end goal and they want to help them out and the students should help the teachers out, I feel like then you can have a great environment in any school system. Uh, a, a quote that I found from Albert Einstein in a book 
I feel built a great foundation with what I'm talking about is that having free and responsible development of the individual so that he may place his powers freely and gladly in the service of mankind. I believe that is a great way to hopefully establish a better school system. Hey guys, this is Dea Segura, and this is the end of the video. I uh, hope you guys had a great time watching. I uh, hope you guys learned a lot about me, and uh, I learned a lot about myself this semester. Uh, made a lot of new friends, and uh, learned a lot of great things in the class in English 102. I loved everyone there. Uh, they are all great. Uh, probably my best, my favorite English class. Uh, most outgoing. And I hope that we have a great end of the semester. And uh, that we all have a good time. And uh, thank you guys very much too.